Flu cases are up about 6% in Alabama right now, and one child has even died. Our Way 31's Casey Albritton went to a pediatric clinic today to see just how many flu cases are coming in each day. This box holds 25 different flu tests. And here at Over the Rainbow Pediatrics, they ran out of their first set and had to order a whole nother set of boxes just like these all within a week. For a small clinic like ours, about 10 cases a day. So that's 40 to 50 a week. So there's a lot of disease in the community right now. Dr. Johnson says she has diagnosed a high number of flu cases recently. Oh, during our sick clinics, almost every one with a fever in the last two or three weeks has had influenza A. According to the Alabama Department of Public Health, one child in Alabama died from the flu within the past week, but no other information about the death was available. Well, it seems like a needless death. It really is a needless death. If it could have been prevented by a simple flu vaccine. Dr. Johnson says children and elderly people are more prone to the flu and it can become deadly in as little as 48 hours. So small, so weak, and uh, in general your immune system is not as good when you're very young and very old. Johnson says the flu is so prevalent right now it's even affecting her own family. My own father-in-law was admitted to Crestwood this last weekend. He got the flu at his nursing home and they thought he was going to die Sunday night. But luckily he pulled through, but he's 90. She says she is thankful he survived. He's doing okay. They've actually sent him back to the nursing home, but it was a real scare. Even though Johnson understands why some people are scared of vaccines, she says you should try to stick through the pain. Oh, I hate needles. I hate to take a shot, but I take mine every year now. Reporting in Huntsville, Casey Albert and Way 31.